So here we're going to use another diagram from Klein and Dutro. This is from their chapter 12, uh, and it illustrates the issue of order disorder. This is a different kind of transformation compared to two others that we've discussed in other videos, displacive and reconstructive. We can also call this perhaps a third order transformation compared to reconstructive, which is a first order, and then displacive, which is second order. So what is order disorder? Well, this diagram down here illustrates it perfectly. So aluminum and silicon can both go into tetrahedral sites. We could write a little superscript Roman numeral four here. Both of them can go into a tetrahedron. So we have uh, an atom that is in the center of this fellow here. This is bonded to four oxygens. And usually we just show it by showing the tetrahedron itself instead of the atoms. So we can put an aluminum in there, which has a uh, three plus charge, or we can put a silicon atom, which has a four plus charge. Now there are some other charge balancing issues that not, must be taken care of if we're gonna make a substitution of aluminum for silicon or vice versa. And we have a video where we take a look at coupled substitutions uh, in our solid solution uh, YouTube video uh, and we look at the feldspars. But here we're going to ignore the charge balance stuff. That's taken care of sort of off the screen or out of view. And we're just going to look at the tetrahedra themselves. So let's say we have four of them. So there's four tetrahedra here. And this shows a twofold rotational axis that goes in between these two. So these guys are pointed up and then these fellows with the dashed lines are pointed down. And then if we uh, swing these around along this axis, so we turn them in this direction, swing them around 180 degrees, then these fellows would be up here pointing up, and then these fellows would come and swing down, and they'd be pointing down. So we have some twofold rotational symmetry in this case here. What does the one fourth mean? It means that if we're going to take four different sites and we're only going to put aluminum in one of them, so aluminum is one out of the four sites, then by definition, of course, if all are filled, then silicon will occupy uh, three out of the four sites. This one-fourth is really talking about the chance of seeing an aluminum. If aluminum can go on any particular site, let's say it does so randomly, then we might have an aluminum here or there or there or there. We would have an equal probability, a one-fourth or 25% chance of seeing aluminum in any of those sites. So aluminum, is, aluminum if we look at uh, millions upon billions upon trillions of sites within a crystal, uh, it will be roughly equally divided amongst these four sites. And then if there's a one quarter chance of seeing aluminum in this particular fellow, then by the same token, there'd be a three quarter chance of uh, finding a, a silicon in that site. All right, so let's take a look at these other cases. So this is case uh, A over here. What's going on in letter B? So in letter B, we have Instead, aluminum only occupying these sites on the right-hand side. So aluminum will go here or here, but not over there and not over there. These will be filled with silicon, not with aluminum. Now, why would that be the case? Well, uh, aluminum and silicon are not the same size. If there's a little bit of a difference in the sizes of these, or maybe there's a charge balance issue, maybe there's a large uh, potassium atom sitting over here that would normally be there, and it provides some charge balance by keeping the aluminums over on the right-hand side, then aluminum might have either a structural or a charge balance preference for being over on the right-hand side. And if that's the case, uh, if we're going to fill in one quarter of the sites with aluminum, but out of those four sites, only two of them are available, now we have a 50-50 chance, a one-half uh, probability of seeing aluminum either here or there. So let's say there is a charge balance of issue and there's a large potassium atom sitting off over here, but nowhere else in the structure. Then we can have case C. So uh, that means that aluminum might actually prefer this site over all the others. And we would have a 100% chance, a chance of a probability of one of seeing aluminum in that upper right site and the chances of seeing it in any of the other sites would be zero. And so that means we would always find aluminum over here and never over here, 
So if one out of the four aluminums, uh, sites is filled with aluminum, it would always be the case that we'd have silicon, silicon, and silicon on those sites, and then aluminum up there. This is a fellow that has order, and this is the fellow that has disorder. And this guy is just kind of in between, so B is a case that's intermediate. It's got a little bit of ordering. Ordering is important because it often happens at low temperature, while disorder happens at high temperature. If we have a very high temperature system, then it's easier for these atoms to bounce around from one site to the next to the next. And so we would expect more of a random scattering and kind of an equal probability of finding that aluminum atom in any of those sites. But if we have a very cold system, there's a little bit less energy to push aluminum over some activation energy barrier that might allow it to occupy one of these other sites. And so with less energy and less incentive for it to move around, it's just going to stay right there and charge balance the potassium or whatever else is going on over here. So that's the case of order disorder. Probably the single biggest application is these are very important as thermometers. We can use order disorder relationships in various kinds of phases to tell high temperature or low temperature systems. Uh, actually, it's not just making a category, but we could have a continuum of order from uh, let's say high to low, and that would be a continuous thermometer that would tell us how hot or cold a certain geological system is.